Okay, just got back from a road trip in the uh, Tesla, and uh, I got my supercharging bill, and it's, uh... <laughs> Whew, need a lot more of this, let me just say that. So, uh, yeah, Tesla's been increasing the prices for supercharging, especially on peak rates, and uh, out in California, it's almost up there with gas. I mean, California gas is probably half the price, but it's not the, not the deal it was a long time ago. So what I'd like to do is buy a CCS adapter from Korea and enable my 2018 Model 3, because it's not, it's not currently CCS enabled, and, uh, you know, see how much cheaper that could be to do than supercharging. Wow, so that worked out really well. Uh, this company in uh, South Korea that'll ship this to you in like a week or two. Uh, about three hundred and ten dollars, everything included, and it's a genuine part. This isn't like this is like a knockoff adapter from uh, you know Eastern Europe or something. This is the real deal. It'll do um, over two hundred kilowatts, I believe. Uh, it's actually faster than a version three supercharger in the right conditions. So, yeah, I can't wait to try this thing out. Um, the only thing I have left to do is uh, call up and have Tesla come out and install a Gen 4 ECU on my car so it'll be CCS enabled. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, there's no way. No. Okay. Yeah, no, I'll find a way to do it myself, thanks. Okay, so this just became a, a do-it-yourself project. Um, I looked up online, and all it takes is a, a bundle of wires from a guy named uh, Falcon Systems. Uh, it tricks the charge port into, I guess the new charge ports have a, uh, a thermometer on them that uh, that tells the car if they need to be heated or not. The new charge doors have actual heated modules, I guess, in them, so if it's, you know, icing outside or whatever, it'll... It'll defrost for you so you can pop them open easily. Uh, so mine doesn't have that. Mine's, you know, four years old. And uh, I'm going to have to get a little bundle of wires and crimps. That's what they call them. So they, they legally aren't, you know, in trouble in case it destroys your car. <laughs> so I'm going to order a bundle of wires and crimps for like 80 bucks off Amazon or eBay. Uh, I'll put a link for that in my description below also in case you want to do this craziness. And then all I have to do is find a 4th gen ECU that should adapt it. It's got little resistors in it, so it, it fools it into thinking it's the perfect temperature all the time and no need to activate the non-existent uh, door heater. So, oh, this is turning into quite the fun project. Okay, so the Tesla online parts catalog is completely worthless. It's only for uh, repair shops and companies, really. Uh, a normal Tesla customer can't just go out and buy parts they need. So, I'm going to have to try and call up Tesla, beg them for parts, stop by, um, try and find some third-party ones, I don't know. Um, let's find out what happens. Well, I went to the three closest Tesla service centers, and uh, no one either had the part in stock or would sell it to me. Uh, they said it would violate the warranty, they gave all kinds of other BS excuses, because uh, it's not safe for you to install. It's like a 5 volt part, okay? It's it's not plugging into the 400 volt system. It's not going to explode and blow my hand off. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, I, I emailed 10 service centers in like the local few states and it's been two weeks and I got nothing back from them. I emailed uh, Rich Rebuilds. He's got uh, a few, uh, what are they called? I forget what they're called. Electrified garages they're called. I, I, I emailed two of the three and one didn't write back, and one said that uh, they can't sell me the part, it's not user installable, whatever. Uh, I did, however, because <laughs> I was getting frustrated. Uh, I asked one of the service centers, you know, if my if my wife's fourth gen ECU kind of went missing, maybe someone stole it from her car. You know, if I paid cash to have it, re you know, reinstalled, have someone else uh, bring one down and put it in, would that be okay? And they said they would do it. So maybe that's an option is, uh, <laughs> Yes, I vandalized my wife's car and uh, paid to have it repaired. I, I don't know, I'm getting pretty desperate here. Bugging me so bad. I don't think that's coming out. All right, I found a guy out in LA who's, uh, he owns a, uh, a body shop and uh, he's willing to, uh, to sell me one, but um, he doesn't want to send it out in the mail because he's afraid I could, you know, flip it and sell it for 400 bucks because apparently everyone's doing this. Um, and he doesn't want to be associated with that in case that happens. He doesn't want it to get traced back to him and lose his, you know, ability to sell Tesla parts and order Tesla parts for his repair business. So he wants me to drive there and swap my ECU third gen for the fourth gen on the spot um, to make sure that, you know, I can't just, you know, rip it out and sell it and, you know, 
drive off. He's my fourth, third gen still. So, um, I'm uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pack up and drive to LA with my daughter. So we're gonna do a little road trip. Uh, yeah. Well, I, I guess the the upside of this is uh, I can report back on what it costs for supercharging across the country, uh, how full self driving beta uh, and autopilot does driving across the country. Um, I guess the time, how long it takes to do that, it's going to be a lot more comfortable than doing it on a motorcycle, I can guarantee you that, so it'll just be a, a relaxing cruise where I set the cruise control, and uh, or set autopilot, and uh, let it take me from charger to charger, and uh, I'm, I'm curious if it can actually get me to each charger, and if I can, you know, actually just, all, all, I have to, all I have to do is get in there and back it in myself, and uh, I'll try and count the disengagements, the number of seconds or minutes, I guess, total for the trip that I had to take over and do the driving versus full self driving beta. So, uh, those seem like some pretty good data points I'm going to be able to get from this trip. I almost forgot I've got my $80 cable. You can see the little resistors on there. It looks uh, very high quality. That's good because it's got to sit in the trunk and get bounced around for, you know, the rest of the car's life. So, uh, yeah, I'm about a month into this. $550 or so in, all to save some money on charging. So CCS, there's free CCS chargers here and there. Uh, there's Electrify America. If you get on their, their monthly plan, it's... Uh, it can be less than half, about half the cost of Tesla in some situations because of peak rates in some areas. On um, my next video, I'm going to, hopefully if this works, I'm going to try and charge for free or as cheap as possible up the coast of California from LA on up to uh, probably Morro Bay, maybe inland a little bit. Um, see how that goes with the new adapter and uh, that'll be my, ne my next video after the uh, cross-country road trip here. And then I'm going to try and drive back and see how cheap I can make that without making compromises. Um, you know, because I can use Electri America. Um, I'm not going to stay at, like, you know, Nissan dealerships that are, you know, 25 kilowatts or whatever and uh, sit there for, you know, three hours annoying the dealership. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how much cheaper that is versus driving across with the uh, Tesla Supercharger exclusively. Um, and that's, uh, that's going to be it. I'm going to go throw some luggage in the car and drive to California with my daughter.